In this tutorial in Microsoft Publisher, I'd like to show you some basics of working with a text box. How do you create one? How do you flow text from one box to another box? Let me show you. I have a two-page document on the screen, and in the first page I have a simple icon of a cap. We're going to create a couple of columns and show you how to create and move text in a box. I'm going to click with the Home tab my draw text box in the ribbon and when that's darkened when it's gray my cursor turns into a plus and that that way I can define the size and shape of my box so I hold down the left mouse button and we'll start it at this corner and I can drag I can change the width and height and make the box whatever shape I like and let go now I have some text I want to put in to illustrate it I'll I have it in my clipboard I'll just paste it in here and here is an example of some text in the box whenever you see a smaller box at the lower right corner with three dots what that tells you is there are there is more text than this box can contain so I can enlarge the box I can drag it down and have more but I still have more text than this this particular box can handle uh, I can change the width or the height any way I want to and it will adjust accordingly. But let's assume that I, I want the text to end here but to continue in another box. How do I do that? Well, what I simply can do is go back to my Home tab, click on Draw Text Box, and I'll create another one over here. And <clears throat> that gives me the option of of having another box I can flow text into. So I'll click on my first box and then I'll click on create link. And then I'll click move my mouse over the second box. When I'm over a, an, an empty box it will give me the option of seeing the outline of the box and the cursor turns into a water pitcher. So I'll click here and now the text that ends here continues in this box and I can move this box anywhere I want right now it's on top of the cap and so I'd rather have it not be there so I'll click on my home tab and I will tell the text to send the text backwards so I send it backwards and the cap comes forward and it wraps around the cap but it's not big enough so I'll lengthen it a little bit and there we go I can also add to the text here. I'll do some more uh, random text. And now it's too big for this box, so I can repeat the process. I can create another box with my draw box option. Click down here. And then from this box, I can click create a link. Drag over. I see the outline of the box with the picture. Drop it in there, and that will cover it. And so right now, this would be the third one. Here's another option that you have. I can actually take this box and drag it off of my main document. I can click on page 2 if I want to and drag it into page 2. So now my text continues from page 1 uh, from the second column over to page 2. And I can position it and resize it any way I want to. Uh, to finish the, that particular article or story or text uh, there on page 2. Now what if I, what if I want to change the link from one box to another? Let me go back to page 1. And let's say I don't want the text to go from here into my box on page 2. I click inside the box and I cl click break. This will break the link between this text and that box. And I clicked it. Okay, now it's broken. That box is still there, but it's empty. So I'll create another box just for fun. Go back to my Home tab. Draw one here. And now I'll, I will click on this box. I'll do Create Link and drop it back into this guy here. And you can do this all day long. As many different boxes and columns. I can move this to another page. Um, if I want to, I can create another, I can take this other text box here and I can actually uh, create another box on page one. 
let's do another one a smaller one over here and I can move it from the second page back to the first page because I have more text I'll create a link between this box and this other guy here on page one and there we go so you can move from page to page um, you don't want to get crazy about it but it just shows you the flexibility of how you can create a text box uh, put text in it and move the text from one place to another. Mm -hmm.